welcome back to my channel i hope you all are having a blessed day today and i have another dollar tree empties video for you so let's get started um repeat purchase i always get these cotton rounds 80 these are really good they don't tear apart super easily they're not super fuzzy they do have a little bit of fuzz but overall i keep purchasing because they are good quality uh, next up, I always get these. They're the 100 count cotton balls and I absolutely love these for nail polish removal and using witch hazel. Some cotton swabs. I got the safety swabs 55 count for Connor. They were the blue. I love that they come in different colors and that's fun. These work great. I love them. They're comparable to the Johnson ones in my opinion. These, however, I did get the 300 count cotton swabs from the Assured brand for John and I. And they're okay. They bend really easily. They can pull apart in your ear. They're not super safe, you guys. But I forgot to pick them up at Walmart. So I had to grab these in a pinch at the Dollar Tree. And there's like a loner one in there. Not sure why. But anyways, these are okay. I think these are great for makeup, though, and um, nail so i will keep purchasing them but overall for ear use not super safe i have a shirt brand instant hand sanitizer i love this hand sanitizer i have a 10 fluid ounce container here now they sell eight fluid ounces that's still okay it's still good quality it kills the germs and you really need this kind of stuff this time of year I'm moving into some bathroom kind of stuff. I have the Firefly Batman 3-pack toothbrushes. Connor loves these 3-pack toothbrushes. They all have different designs on them. The bristles are colorful. I'm sharing these toothbrushes with you guys so that you will know they have fun character toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree, which I'm sure most of you do know this, and they are good quality. This is totally random, but I did get this really nice big loofah at the Dollar Tree. It's time to throw it out, but I wanted to shed some light on not all the loofahs they have there are trash. This is a huge one. It has really pretty glitter ribbon running throughout it as well. Perfect for a basket gift idea. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I also have the other um, part of the Bolero shampoo and conditioner here. And that's the watermelon mint conditioner. This was okay. I did, I did feel it conditioned my hair. I had to use twice as much. See, that's my pet peeve with it. I mean, there is 16.9 fluid ounces. But still, when you have to use double the amount, I'll just buy the dollar stuff at Walmart, you know? So next up is the Soft Whisper Shower Foam, 14 fluid ounces in pomegranate lemon verbena. Hated this. I did not think it lathered well. I did not think it cleaned my body well. And I just personally didn't like this product. Kids stuff, I have the Foaming Bubble Bath Watermelon, 20 fluid ounces. Absolutely love this. It's amazing. It suds. It lasts forever in the tub. The incomplete bath time these bubbles last. It's not like the cheaper, it's like a cheap brand, of course, but it doesn't perform like a cheap bubble bath. I really love this and the scent is amazing. Also, Connor used up Bath Treasures Bath Bombs and Galactic Vanilla Berry. These did turn the water pink. They smelled fantastic. They're supposed to be vanilla berry scent, but it smelled like a gummy, like a blueberry gummy to me, and it just smelled so good he loved these got three for a dollar some makeup wipes here i have the rich radiance cocoa butter cleansing wipes 30 count these were okay um they were saturated they were wet they didn't do a great job at removing full face makeup which is okay i mainly use them for swatches they were just okay i i love the scent of them but i don't think i'll repurchase them for like makeup removal this is a repeat purchase. They are the facial wipes, the charcoal ones. They're sturdy in here. I've done a full review on these. Absolutely love them. I'll link that review below. These are so good. If you haven't tried them, please check them out. Next up, I have the Global Beauty Care, and these are the cleansing nose strips. There are three in here for a dollar. The charcoal nose strips. These are okay. They're not like super comparable to Bior, but they do get the job done. I do recommend picking them up three for a dollar. I mean, no brainer, but they're not, I feel like they're not as good as the Bior. Then I have a perfume and this is in Pink Waves from the EAD brand. 
and pink waves and this was an imitation for maybe Paris Hilton or something along the lines of that this smelled so good and I hope to find this one again I was so impressed with this it lingered on the skin all day long and every time I wore this to church or just out in general I would always get compliments so people love this and it was only a dollar that's how strong this one is you guys so I definitely recommend it and last but not least, I have two candles. So I have the Fog Cloud candle. This is a soy blend. Burnt really nicely. I'll probably repurpose this jar, to be honest. It's a very nice matte black jar. There was no throw. Um, barely any scent. Um, that's okay. But moving on, because my camera's dying, I have Spiced Pumpkin. And this one, it burnt okay. And this one was potent. It has a very nice throw very nice scent anything spiced pumpkin maple um, peppermint like from the Dollar Tree I usually have really good success with so I really loved this candle in comparison to the fog cloud this one was fantastic so that's my Dollar Tree empties and mini reviews you guys I don't even know what number we're on anymore but I hope you're still enjoying them and we'll stay tuned for more don't forget to check the description box for additional links as well as other information like the video comment subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for watching 